Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm not at home, I'm filming at my grandparents' house in Paul. And Paul is known for its beautiful wine. So today's video is going to be about how to read a wine label because I know what it's like. You go into a bottle store or a wine shop and you are presented with hundreds of wines and you just have no idea what to choose. And I know a lot of people I've spoken to actually make their wine choice based on the label. So I thought it would be pretty important if I told you how to actually read a wine label. So the wine we're going to be talking about is this one. It's the Graham Beck Game Reserve Cabernet Sauvignon 2014. And actually, I'm also going to be doing a giveaway where you can get this wine bottle for free. All you need to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and also leave a comment below the video telling me why you love wine. On to reading a wine label. The first thing is this. Graham Beck. Now that's the wine producer. It's the winery that grows the grapes, picks the grapes, turns them into wine. Next, the game reserve. This is simply the name that they've given to the wine. Some wineries choose to give their wines names over or above the name of the grape varietal. So in this case, it's the game reserve. And it's got a nice picture of a cheetah, or it could be, a, no, picture of a Cape Leopard to go with this game reserve feel. Next, 2014. That is the year that, in which the grapes were harvested and turned into wine. So it's already two years old, this wine. Next, Cabernet Sauvignon. This refers to the grape varietal. Now, generally speaking, with a Cabernet Sauvignon, you can expect the wine to be fairly full-bodied, quite tannic that's the drying sensation that the wine gives you in your mouth um, <clears throat> usually a dry wine which means it's not a sweet wine and you can expect smoky flavors with dark fruits like black currants and also some vanilla i love cabernet sauvignon it's always seems to deliver although there are a couple of cheap ones that are really nasty so beware those now on to the back of the wine bottle First of all, the Game Reserve Cabernet Sauvignon 2014. Then, usually the winemaker will give a little story on the bottle. Sometimes they just talk about the story of the winery. If it's, you know, five generations of winemakers, they might emphasize that. Or they might talk about the location that the winery's in. Next, they also give tasting notes. But not every single wine bottle will have a tasting note on it. But this one do, does. Um, deep ruby red in colour with blackberry fruit, hints of dried herbs and cigar box notes on the nose. The palette's full bodied with juicy mulberry and cherry flavours, tobacco spice and cedar wood. This wine has soft yet firm tannins with a balanced mouthfeel and a long finish. Excellent with your favourite cut of red meat, traditional roast beef, ossobuco and hearty risottos. So yeah, and then they've also in the middle there given a little story about the Cape Leopard and a little story behind why they have named it the Game Reserve. So the next thing that's quite interesting is wine of origin Stellenbosch. So W-O simply means wine of origin Stellenbosch. Stellenbosch is not far from Paul actually, it's about a 20 minute drive from Paul if that. And again, very important wine growing region in the Western Cape. Quite a hot climate, so perfect for cultivating Cabernet Sauvignon. So generally speaking, if on a wine bottle they've stated a very specific region like wine of origin Stellenbosch, it's usually an indication that it's quite a good quality of wine. Whereas if you get a cheap bottle, you'll notice that it just says wine of origin South Africa. So the grapes could actually come from anywhere. They've just mixed a whole collection of grapes from different vineyards and different wine growing regions. So yeah, we can assume this is a fairly good quality wine. It comes in at about 80 rand. So yeah, decent bottle of wine. Uh, and then it'll give you the um, percentage of alcohol. So 13.5 in this case, which is kind of what we'd expect from a red wine. Usually red wines come in at about 14, sometimes it even goes high as 15. 
haven't actually tried it, so whoever I give this to will have to tell me how it's like. So yeah, I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions at all, or you don't understand anything I've said, please just comment below with your questions. And if you want to stand a chance to win this wine, like I said, subscribe, like the video, share it if you like, and write and tell me below in the comment box why you love wine. Cool. See you next time. Happy drinking.